Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is a color changing light bulb that you can control with Alexa or Google Home for only 20 pounds. Here goes, super exciting video of Paul screwing a light bulb into a lamp. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you turn an old lamp into a smart lamp. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is install the UC Smart Home app from Ping Quong Yip. I hope I've pronounced that correctly. Accept the terms and conditions without reading them, because that's how we roll. <laughs> I've never done this before, as you can probably tell. I'm uh, just going through the motions. Log in. Okay. So, you privacy nuts are going to hate this already. <laughs> Didn't take long, did it? Let's tap here to add devices. Let's add a device. Um, okay, well, I'm going to turn that on. Uh, needs to connect to my Wi-Fi. Conspiracy nuts are all already doing their nuts in the comments. I can feel it. I can feel their hatred flowing through them. Good. Good. Just realize it says make sure your phone and device are as close to your router as possible. I am not taking this lamp downstairs. It's not happening. Come on. Ooh, hello. Smart bulb 3367, eh? Oh, there you go. You get a little vibration when you do it to let you know that you're switching on and off. And it is immediate, which is great, considering my route is a fair distance away. Uh, so I'm going to, first of all, have a look at white. So that is very bright white. It's a, a blue, cold white. I don't know why anyone would want that in their home. Uh, it's very bright, um, but it's not very pleasant. These are much more attractive pinky whites and the further I go over here the more comfortable I feel <laughs> uh, it looks a lot better this side I think brightness wise uh, you've got a fairly good uh, control over the level of brightness I don't know if it's bright enough to have one bulb per room I think you would need more than one of these bulbs if you were planning on lighting a whole room up uh, but for a, a lamp in the corner of my music room it's perfect uh, so let's try some of the colors and what we'll do is we'll start at the top and we'll uh, work our way around. So let's put it on to full brightness. Uh, this is actually saturation at the bottom, I've figured out. The further you go over to the left, the less saturated it becomes. I notice the saturation, um, the further over to the left you get, the more it just seems to change to a completely different colour. So it's not perfect by any means. Uh, but anyway, let's just demonstrate the colours going around 360 degrees like I did with the Philips Hue. Uh, replacement that I showed you a few weeks ago. Um, so that is a fairly accurate representation of the colour I've chosen. Yeah, that looks very good actually. That's very good. That's very good too. So the oranges, uh, greens to orange are very accurate. Getting further over to red now. Still very accurate. That's perfect. That is as red as you're probably ever going to get it. Still red, good. Ooh, no. <laughs> so I'm still very red uh, on my mobile phone app, uh, but I've got like a, a luminous pink in real life, so that's not quite right. Yeah, and it's just gone super pink the further I've gone around here. So not perfect uh, representation by any means as you go into the uh, pinky reds. Uh, we're probably getting a little bit closer to reality now, but it's still a little bit out. Yeah, that's getting a lot better. Yeah, we're starting to get closer now to reality, so that is a good representation. So um, the sort of reds to pinks are miles out. I think you can probably get the pink that you're after if you're after a pink, uh, but you're going to have to click somewhere differently from um, where you actually feel like you should be clicking. That's looking dead accurate, so that's great. Blues, yeah, blues are nice, that's working. Yeah, that's spot on. Getting around to more light blues, into minty colours. Yeah, these are really accurate, that's absolutely spot on. That's pretty close, still very close. 
Uh, that's miles away, I'd say. So we're on quite a bright green on the app and we've got still a minty bluey green in real life. That's pretty close. Yeah, I think that's where you want green to be. I mean, like, if you wanted grass green, you don't really have grass green on this colour wheel, so it's no great surprise the bulb isn't quite reacting to the, the colours I'm selecting. But it's close enough, and it's close enough that you can get what you want. If I, I mean, if I wanted a brown, I can dip this uh, that way. I tried this earlier, so, I mean, you can get a brown light out of it pretty much and that's that's pretty good considering i don't think there's any such thing as brown light uh that's pretty close so you can get by messing around a little bit with the brightness uh, and maybe with the saturation a touch you can get any color you want i think uh touching the middle button i thought would turn the light on and off it doesn't it just puts it back to green uh although it hasn't oh there we go it has uh so i don't know why that's a strange design choice uh, but I'll forgive them because it's not an expensive product and it does some awesome stuff. What else can we make this do? Uh, scene? So I've only just figured this out. So what, for whatever reason, this gorgeous scene is rotating through the colours. Um, and I get the option to uh, change the speed of that. Uh, and the saturation of that. Yeah, the less saturated it is, the more you're getting whites. Yeah, it works. So that's party mode. So <laughs> if you want to have a party with your friends, there's gorgeous. Choose gorgeous for a party with your friends. Leisure or leisure, depending on whether you're an idiot. <laughs> uh, that is just a blue color. Party, I would expect to be giving me all the different colors, but it's not. Uh, reading, that makes sense. Yeah, that's quite a chilled out nighttime colour. It gives me a soft green, which I can edit. I can just choose a different soft colour. So this is kind of cool. So I mean, these are presets and you can just change the presets. So that makes perfect sense. Shine? That just flashes on and off. I'm guessing again, I can choose the speed of that. Yep, that's horrifying. <laughs> I don't want that. Stop doing that. You way too gorgeous. Timer, I'm not going to uh, wait for a minute for it to actually kick in. Uh, I have tested it works. Uh, you can store timers, which is cool. So there's one I made earlier, uh, as they say on Blue Peter. So 8.14 tomorrow, that will switch. Or it won't, in fact, because I've only set it to only once. And maybe it would. Maybe it would do the next 8.14 and only do it once. Repeats, you can choose the days of the week you want it to repeat. There is another app that I haven't tried yet, so I'm going to try and wing it. <laughs> I'm just going to uh, open this up for the first time ever and try and make it work. Okay, so we've got use Echo and Google Home. I think that's probably a good place to start. But it's telling me to modify the device name to something that it's going to be able to easily understand. So um, if it isn't already obvious, you didn't need to install UC Smart Home uh, because Tuya Smart has everything that you need in it, including the Echo stuff. Uh, so let's just go and name my device. Okay, modify device name. Confirm. Success. Step four, add skill and Alexa app or computer. Enter into the skill and search for your smart. Okay, so... Hey, you know what, if they've got an app already, or a skill rather, then they're already light years ahead of everybody else for the price tag. Okay, I've got to log into Toya. Okay, this is going well. I'm using that app. Link now. Awesome. It has been successfully linked. So I presume it's going to find it now that I've added the skill, and if it does that, then that's mint, because that makes this the easiest product so far to be able to add to Alexa. There's no needing the RM plugin with a special Android device to be able to keep it alive, I don't think. It seems that once the skill is added, uh, you should, as long as it's found it. Ding, ding, ding! What do we have for her, Johnny? Which it has, it's found it. So let's see what we can do. Alexa. Ooh. 
switch the music room lamp off. Okay. Oh, it's instantaneous. This is a great product. Alexa, switch the music room lamp on. Okay. Oh, I'm impressed. Alexa, colour the music room lamp red. That command doesn't work on device music room lamp. Ah. So, I don't think you can change colour with it, which... That's a real shame, like a crying shame. That hurts me deep inside. I think you can dim it by the looks of it. Alexa, dim music room lamp to 50%. Okay. Alexa, dim music room lamp to 10%. Okay. Alexa, set music room lamp to 100%. Okay. So that's super exciting. So, for me, I would never want to change the colour of a lamp with my voice. Um, I've always found the apps that come with these things to be far more uh, malleable for when you want to set a colour. I guess it would be nice if you could set scenes so you could choose a particular scene. Um, don't think you can do that. Let's have a look. Alexa. Set party scene on music room lamp. Wait a minute. Screw you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to buy this bulb, which I do, because it's awesome, and only £20, then the links are in the description also. See you next time.